Hi children, good morning. Welcome to our uh, second video of block uh, 1. Okay, yesterday you learnt about the different parts of the leaf. Today we will see, before uh, coming to the class, you collect the different leaves from your surroundings and keep it ready. When the lesson goes on, you look at your different leaves and answer me children. Okay, so today we will see, uh, we will collect a different, even I to collect a different leaves from my surroundings and we are going to discuss the uh, how they are different from each other. Uh, to see normally every leaf looks same green in color, uh, then what will be the difference in them? It, something little awkward question it's looking for you, right? But we are going to see now how they are different from each other. So our today's topic is different kinds of leaves. Our topic is different kinds of leaves. Different kinds of leaves we are going to see today. I have a collection of lot of leaves, so many leaves I brought for you. So you look at this all the leaves. Are you able to see? Yes. So now one by one we will see what are the differences in these leaves we are going to see. Uh, then is this leaf and this leaf uh, shape is it same? Yes. Is it same? No. This leaf is big and this leaf is small. So when we see the shape of different leaves, some are big in shape, some are, this comes under size. This comes under size of the leaves. Some leaves are big in size, some leaves are small in size, right? Now we will see the shape of the leaves. How they are different in their shape. See this leaf, this leaf is Narrow shaped, long. How is this leaf? Long and narrow shape. Narrow and long shape. And you, you can even, you have a collection of different leaves with you, right? So you find out, you uh, from your collection, you pick up the leaf which have long structure, long shape. Okay. And now this leaf is, is it in a long shape? It's round in shape. So some leaves are round in shape. Some leaves are long in shape. Some leaves are round in shape. And this is, this is its shape. This leaf is in heart shape. Heart shape leaves. So some leaves are in heart shape. See, just now, beginning of our lesson, we wondered how leaves will be in different shapes. How leaves are different. But now see how we are able to classify them. We are able to divide them. Some, when we see the size of the leaves, some are small and some are big. And when we see the shape of the leaves, some are long and narrow, some are round in shape and some are heart shape. Like this variations are coming. Right? Now if we see the edges. Edges are margins. Yesterday when we are discussing about the leaf structure, I told you that the leafy structure we discussed yesterday, uh, these are the margins. The ending of a leaf known as margin or edge. So, are all the leaves edges are looking same? That we will see now. While understanding, while listening the lesson itself, you can classify. Because you are having a number of leaves with you, you classify them, how they are different based on their edges. 
So now I'll show you some leaves. How they are different in their edges. You see this rose leaf or tulsi leaf. You see or the rose leaf. And this money plant leaf. These are the common leaves. Generally you will get in your home. Money plant everyone will uh, grow the money plant in their home. So how and rose plant also. Most of you will have rose or else tulsi. Every uh, house they will grow definitely tulsi plant. Because it has many medicinal values. And we feel that it's a good sign to grow tulsi in our houses. Right. So you compare the edges of money plant and tulsi plant. How are the edges in money plant? Is there any ups and downs? No, there are no ups and downs. Very smooth edges are there. When we come to the tulsi plant, how the edges are? Do they have any cuts like this? Yes. In tulsi plant, tulsi plant edges are ups and downs. Yes. And whereas money plant edges are without any ups and downs. No grooves here. So this is tulsi leaf and this is money plant leaf. And this is in its shape. Just now we discussed about shapes of the leaves, how they are different. So this is the heart shape. Just now we said that some leaves are in heart shape. So money plant uh, uh, shape is like a heart shape. And the edges are in, when we see the margins of a leaf also they are different. Some margins have ups and downs and some margins are smooth. This is smooth margins and here they have rough margins. In this way also you can divide the leaves. Okay, now we will come to the veins. You know what are veins? Yesterday we discussed, right? Uh, the lines which runs along the inside the leaf blade, those are veins. Okay? So now we will see, are all the leaves have same type of veins? Is there any difference in veins? We will see. You take one money plant, money plant leaf you take and one Tulsi leaf or else any other leaf, rose leaf, anything you can take. So I took here two leaves. In this leaf you can see children clearly. Downside of the leaf we should see to observe the veins clearly. Yes. So downside of the leaf you see there is a mid vein, a long vein present that's known as mid vein. This you know already. So in this leaf, remaining all the veins are moving along with the mid vein. Suppose you see your money plant also, one long mid vein. Other veins are also running along with mid vein only. It will be like this. I will show you in the diagram. So it's a leaf when you see and uh, the veins, other veins also move along with the mid vein. They too will be in the same size of mid vein. Okay, so they are moving along, moving along with mid vein, moving along with mid vein. And in some plants, some leaves, if you see, net-like veins you can see. Net-shaped veins. This leaf, you see, all the leaves, all the veins are not along, not running along with mid vein. There are different small, small veins are also there and their shape looks like a net. You observe the leaves, collection of leaves are with you. So you observe in that. So some leaves are having, some leaves veins are in net shape. There are no veins which are running along with the mid vein. 
this these all the veins looks like a net shape so some veins are moving along with the mid vein from the beginning to the end and some leaves veins are just like a net shape they spread it in all the angles all the areas they spread it they spread like this in all the angles they went they are not moving along with the mid vein n number of small veins are there right so in this way they are different in the veins so how see children all the leaves look green in color but how many ways they are different from each other and texture we see texture if we see some leaves are very smooth to touch some leaves are very rough to touch this both the leaves you hold the money plant leaf just keep under your two fingers and uh, feel it how do you feel it's so smooth right but some leaves are very rough to touch so in their texture also they are different from each other in this many ways the leaves are varying from one another and some leaves most of the leaves are in which color green in color but some plant leaves like your crotons many of you will grow the crotons in your home that will have different color leaves like red color brown color like that different color leaves also they are in some plants like crotons and when we see the old leaf and the fresh leaf this is the fresh leaf and this is the old leaf of same plant same plant leaves will be same all the time their shape their texture their veins their edges their size everything if these leaves are from same plant if you collect a number of leaves from same plant or one leaf from the same plant they all look like same all the time variations won't be in single plant if you see the same plant old leaf and the fresh leaf this is the newly born leaf and this is the old leaf is there any difference are both are looking same yes absolutely the old leaf looks pale in color yellow in color not so green like younger tender leaf right so that is the difference between a old leaf and the new leaf old leaf and new leaf so you learnt here how to differentiate the leaves based on their size based on their shape based on their margins based on their veins based on their structure you understood now now you go through the textbook and read the lesson whatever given about the different kinds of leaves we will see children is there in any other way leaves are different or not we will see uh, and you know that the leaves are uh, attached to stem by a part this part what we learned yesterday the leaf which is attached to the stem that part is known as stalk this is known as stalk then based on the stalk is there any difference in the leaves we will discuss now suppose for example you see this leaf is attached to the stem with a single stalk this is the stem part children understand clearly and you even see in your collected leaves how the leaves are attached to the stem in this plant this is the stem part and this is the leafy part a simple leaf a single leaf is attached to the stem 
like this a single leaf is attached to the stem with a single stalk right so this type of leaves are known as simple leaves what we call simple leaf single stalk and a single leaf attached to the stem with the single stalk and now you see this leaf there are three different leaves three different leaves this is a single stalk three leaves are attached to the stem with a single stalk okay so like this children there are three different leaves three different leaves attached to the stem with the single stalk are you understanding so such type of leaf is known as compound leaf compound leaf here yesterday you learned that the flat part the flat part which is very smooth and this flat part is known as leaf blade this we discussed yesterday right so this is leaf blade in simple leaf single leaf blade is there right whereas in compound leaf that simple leaf blade is divided into many leaves that is the main difference between a simple leaf and a compound leaf simple leaf single leaf blade is there in compound leaf the simple leaf blade single leaf blade is divided into many leaves so these leaves are known as leaflets each leaf is known as leaflet following children this is a simple leaf this is a compound leaf the difference between simple leaf and compound leaf simple leaf have single stalk with simple leaf and a single leaf blade compound leaf leaf blade is divided into many leaves and each leaf known as leaflet okay so now you observe in your surroundings you have collected so many leaves from that which are simple leaves which are compound leaves identify them now i'll show you two leaves children you tell me is it a compound leaf or a simple leaf this leaf is this leaf simple leaf or compound leaf yes you are right it's a simple leaf because single leaf blade and only single stalk and now see this curry leaf we use this leaves to make our curries we'll add for nice fragrance in our curries we'll put this so this leaf is a simple leaf or compound leaf yes yes you are right this is a compound leaf because there are n number of leaflets number of leaflets and sing uh, leaf blade is divided into many leaves each leaf is known as a leaflet all these leaves are connected to single stalk fine children so this is a compound leaf now are you finding any difference between this leaf and this leaf this is curry leaf leaf and this is amla leaf amla you know na so this is the leaf from amla plant this is the leaf from curry leaf plant so are you finding any difference here yes try to understand try to identify the differences between these two leaves yes these leaves in amla leaf there are n number of leaflets each leaflet is divided into so many leaflets again 
Each leaf is divided into so many leaflets. You see it will be like. Each leaflet of a compound is divided into many leaves. This is one leaflet and each leaflet again divided into many leaves. Each leaflet again divided into several leaflets. Each leaflet divided into several leaflets. So such type of leaf is known as double compound leaf. Double compound leaf. So understood children? This is a compound leaf. Leaflet divided into many leaflets. Here again leaflets are divided into several leaflets. One single leaflet. One single leaflet is again divided, divided into several leaflets. Following? So this is the double compound leaf. This is the compound leaf. And this is the simple leaf. Simple leaf, compound leaf, double compound leaf. Have single leaf blade, leaf blade divided into leaflets. Leaflets are divided into several leaflets. Fine children? So, you do one activity. You have a collection of leaves. From that, you separate simple leaf, compound and double compound leaves. Draw the beautiful diagrams of three different leaves in your classwork and color them. Fine. Now once we will discuss the questions what is asking. You see in your page number 10, two leaves are given children. He is asking you, how are these leaves different? Look at the picture easily you can see. The first leaf is, the first leaf is, yes you are right, it's a compound leaf. And the second leaf is, simple leaf, because it has single leaf blade, it has many leaflets. Well done. And next he is asking, draw a leaf that will different from the first leaf. You have to draw one more leaf which is different from the first leaf. First you identify the first leaf is what type of leaf? It's a simple leaf because single leaf blade. So opposite to this means you can draw your compound or double compound leaf. And write about one line of each leaf. Can you do children? Yes you are. And next page you see children, page number 11. Are these two leaves are looking same? Are these two leaves are same? No. Here also leaflets are there. Here also several leaflets are there. So the first leaf is double compound leaf. And the B1 is compound leaf. He is asking you to circle the compound leaf. So which one you will circle? Either the first one or the second one? Yes, you are right. The second one you are supposed to circle it. And how is a simple leaf different from a compound leaf? How the simple leaf is different from a compound leaf? Simple leaf have single leaf blade. Compound leaf has many leaflets. Only answer, simple leaf has single leaf blade, compound leaf has leaflets. You can write that answer, I know. Now last one, how are these two leaves different from each other? So first leaf is which leaf? Many leaflets, compound leaf. And the B1 is double compound leaf. How they are different from each other? Here, several, many leaflets are there. In double compound, each leaflet again divided into several leaflets. Simple. So, can you write these answers by your own words? 
Yes, children, you are so good. You can do the given work. Thank you.